Adnan was an engineering student for four years. Now he's a member of Israel's newly formed bomb disposal squad after precisely six days training. European demining companies provided the know-how and body protection. 24-year-old Adnan does the rest. If I move the rocket, the people will be saved, and if it explodes, I will go to heaven. It's in God's hand. His hands are important too. Concerned neighbors reported this unexploded warhead from a grad rocket. It is packed with high explosives that splinter on impact into razor-sharp pieces like these. Misrata is littered with unexploded ammunition. Thousands of rockets and artillery and mortar shells hit the city in battles lasting 50 days, some of the heaviest bombardments in the Libyan conflict. This collection of bombs and shells gives you an idea of the kind of weapons used in Misrata. They range from these artillery shells, which are packed with more than 20 kilos of explosives. If they went off, anyone within 100 meters could be killed or maimed at the very least. And they go all the way through to these rockets and, and mortar shells, to these anti-personnel mines. Now, if you stood on one of these, this would take your foot off. If you picked it up, it could take out an eye or even your hand. More and more unexploded shells and bullets are being found. They can be appealing to children, like this colorful Spanish-produced cluster munition. This shows the damage it did to a wall. It's not hard to imagine what it can do to a human being. 14-year-old Ali was lucky. He picked one up, it exploded, but he lost just two fingers. I picked it up from the floor because it looked very nice and I was playing with it. I liked it, then it exploded and my fingers were off. Many here think that once the shell lands, the danger is over. They can be so wrong. It is difficult making people aware of the danger. They don't have experience and don't understand the consequences. They think that if it hasn't exploded, then it's safe. A leaflet campaign has been launched, but getting the message out in a city with no phone or TV network is difficult. And it is a message too late for some. Isham is 17. He found a 23mm shell with a detached bullet and tried to hammer it back together. It exploded, wounded two others, and killed his older brother Hamad, who was 18. It just exploded. There was a fire and I felt pain in my foot and my brother fell down. We didn't know this could happen. Seven child street cleaners were recently wounded when they tried to move an unexploded rocket and more people are being killed and maimed every week. The shells have mostly stopped falling on the city. The terrible effects of what they can still do have not. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Nisrata.